They said it was impossible. They said... Ah, you can't put together the most elite team of comic book reviewers on the planet and do, you know, a podcast or something like that? Despite all that, today, we can proudly announce... Yeah, yeah, they were right. We, uh, we couldn't do it. So instead, we brought you the most vile, ignorant, unprofessional group of comic book enthusiasts we could find... This is Panel to Panel, the Game Rage Magazine comic podcast. We're back again and we're coming in fucking hot. This is not going to be your typical episode of Panel to Panel. We are not talking about an actual comic today. We are going to be railing about something that happened at (laughs) Comic-Con. Yes. But before we get there, if you want to listen to all our stuff, you can go to GameRageMagazine.com. You can go to at GameRageMagazine on Instagram and TikTok, at GameRageMag on Twitter slash X. If you want to follow Adam, because that's who I'm with today, I'm Josh. You can follow Adam at All Gas No Trash Official on Instagram, and you can check out the All Gas No Trash podcast. Anyways. And you can sign up to our OnlyFans. And- oh, yeah. Don't forget to sign up to our OnlyFans. And also, check us out on YouTube at Game Rage Magazine, and coming soon on Pornhub. Live cams. Uh, 24livecams.com or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Maybe, I mean, at some point that'll happen. Actually, they call that Twitch, because... It's just non-pornographic? No, the it non-pornographic is. version of live cam girls. Yeah, it's Twitch has basically become pornography. I think it has. <laughs> Maybe we should do a fucking team killing Twitch charts about Twitch and how it's become fucking just pornography. Smut. smut. Mm, I don't know. Wait, anyways. Comic news today coming out of Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con. The the con as they call it, because this was a con job and a half, I feel like. The big booty daddy of comic book conventions, which you could barely even call it that. Yeah, now, but <clears throat> shit. Anyways, newly announced. Well actually there's a few things. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what years this logo was active, but DC has reverted back to its I think like 70s or 80s logo because hmm. for a hot minute they were they, I forgot what, they had this other one which was just the circle and the letters DC within it but now it's going back to like the stars the the DC letters in a, a white circle and then the outer circles a blue trim yeah and it has stars again I'm like what the fuck going back to this again why why uh, uh, yeah, maybe it's I, just... I just... I, it, when it comes to fucking DC, dude, or just comics in general, man, reboots, reboots every time, every two to three years. I this mean, at is least what they want. It's what they do. At least for DC, dude, they've rebooted the universe like three different... On three separate occasions with uh, DC <clears> Rebirth. <throat> they did it again with the Batman... Uh, what was it called? The Dark Knights? Well, no, well... It was the uh, well, and then the new Fifty Two rebooted the whole. But that was that was that was years ago. That was like for that was for ten years, and then we got DC Rebirth, and then we mm-hmm. got the Batman bullshit with Scott Snyder with the nightmare versions of Batman, and that rebooted the universe again. I don't fucking know at this point, dude. I'm I'm so lost. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what's going on, and uh, I kind of think that. Uh, like, that New 52 feels like a whole... That was like a complete waste of money, man. Like, I feel like that's those... Because remember, they had said the whole thing was, oh, you know what, we want to give, like, you know, new people a chance to get, like, number ones and stuff. And I feel like in 20 or 30 years, those number ones ain't going to be worth fucking shit. Most of them are. I mean, Most of them currently are not worth shit. The only ones that are worth it are probably Green Lantern and um, Bat Batman from that timeline or that continuity. And that got... It lasted for a minute, but it eventually went away, like most things. Yeah. So, uh, oh my god, I didn't know this. What? Fucking Kamala Harris making a surprise fucking appearance with a pre-recorded message. What on Saturday Night Live? 
uh, on 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 the Simpsons for the Comic Con panel. Oh, okay. And what's funny? What's funny is you know how they have all that shit about the Simpsons predicting the future. Yeah, they they did they they predicted Kamala Harris or a, basically a, 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 like a female president. Yeah, with the exact same exact outfit. same outfit. Yeah, it's fucking strange. Yeah. I think the I think the Matrix is fucking with the simulation's fucking with us right now. I feel like that's anyways. That's I guess that's a BFN topic, but uh, that did happen at Comic Con, so that's somewhat relevant. Okay, but uh, yeah, the big the big news, the big banger <clears throat> is going to be fucking Robert Downey Jr. coming back to the Marvel Universe. As Doctor Doom, I think people uh, with the uh, reactions of fans, I think they were duped into how awesome this was. When it probably isn't really that fucking awesome. I think uh, I actually kind of hate it. It's I don't think it's re good. It's re good. I don't think it's <laughs> good revisiting. Somebody, especially an actor, to play another fucking role within the same universe. Because if if we end up having something where Doctor Doom is just, I don't know, uh, I forget what the storyline was, but there was a comic where Doctor Doom ended up becoming the placeholder for Iron Man. I think it was called Infamous Iron Man. Oh my god. So if we get anything resembling that or some story, or, you know, there was even Superior Iron Man or fucking Inferior. I don't remember what the fuck it was, but it was Iron Man when he had an all white. It was during like the Access blockbuster event, Access, the blockbuster event for Marvel, where everybody got to be an inverted version of themselves. Mm -hmm. So instead of Tony Stark being a good guy, he was kind of an asshole. Hmm. So it's like, are we going to get what is essentially Tony Stark is <clears throat> if he was actually an asshole and we're just put we're just putting a label maker over him and saying that this is Victor Von Doom because Victor Von Doom is way cooler than fucking what whatever they're going to end up doing with him because like his mom was a, a gypsy and shit and she made a pact with the devil and then eventually he ends up going to hell with Doctor Strange to rescue his mother's soul. And then, of course, he becomes the the ruler of Latveria and shit. And he gets into a whole bunch of skirmishes with the Avengers and shit. He's like a one-man army. So yeah. he's way fucking cooler than whatever they're going to do with him. And the fact that it's Robert Downey Jr., dude, I don't fuck with that. What do you have to say about that? So <clears throat> problem that I see is the problem that I generally have with comic book movies recycling characters within the same universe, recycling actors, I guess, to play different characters within the same universe. Now, personally, in an ideal world, I would say that you probably shouldn't mix them at all. DC shouldn't pull from assholes who've been on Marvel. Marvel shouldn't pull shit from people who've been on DC, all right? Yeah. I know a lot of people give a pass to some of those... I don't know, castings or whatever you want to call them. Uh, personally, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like the Chris Evans being okay, man. You were the fucking what's his name? Johnny, Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four for Fox. For for Fox for the Fantastic Four, and then you became Captain America for Marvel. Disney. Disney. Now I know they're two different companies and all this shit, whatever. But in the comic book realm. Me as a fan, I'm already suspending my disbelief enough to go along with the storyline in general, right? To, to keep up with it and to say, okay, cool, like this is a fantastical story, it's comic books, right? But it's a movie. If you're gonna make the motherfucker look, be the be a guy that was another superhero, I it, it like it takes me out of it. That's what that's what my one main issue was with the Avengers and the whole Captain America thing. Now, granted, I think Chris Evans was a much better Captain America than he was. A fucking Johnny Storm, hundred percent. Also, you've got um, Ryan Reynolds, Green Lantern. The movie was kind of dog shit, I guess. You know, for lack of a better term. 
Then he, well, he was Deadpool first. Then he's Green Lantern. Now he's Deadpool again. So now they do at least make fun of that. But see, in Deadpool, you can get away with that. Deadpool is ridiculous. It's, I mean, he makes several comments about about, about be, like being Green Lantern in, in all those movies. So that's okay. But that only works because it's Deadpool. This, you were Iron Man. You you weren't, like, you were the man, okay? Like, for lack of a better term, you were the 16-time World Heavyweight... God damn it, I fucking forgot to mute it. You were the 16 times World Heavyweight Champion for WCW. And now you're coming over to the WWF to play as a different guy. You're going to be a whole new gimmick. You're going to be a whole new everything. We're supposed to just believe that. Because as Iron Man, Tony Stark, you are the main dude in, in Marvel, in my opinion, in, at least in the cinematic universe. You're like the main focus. That was like the major first movie that they put out was Iron Man. That's what got this whole thing started with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? So you can't be Tony Stark for what? 10 years he was Tony Stark? Somewhere? Yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah. it was like 2009, eight, maybe, eight nine. And then, and then it ended in, what, 2018, 2019 with the last Avengers Infinity Saga movie? Yeah, the end game. Yeah, end game. So to me, you can't do that. You can't get away with being that guy. And now you want us to believe you're Doctor Doom. Now, I will say this. I wish they would have just shut the fuck up and not even told us who it was. Because Doctor Doom has the mask. And, if, and I know this is why they told us this, which is already a bad sign. Just like... This is a little bit of a side tangent, but it's just like that asshole in the Halo show. It's just like what's his name in the Mandalorian. Those assholes wanted to take off the mask so you can see their face, so you can see who they are. That's not the fucking character. The character doesn't do that. We don't need to see your fucking face because that's not what it was about, right? Now, Doctor Doom is going to likely be wearing the mask once at the beginning to show him, I'm, I'm imagining, and then he'll never wear it again the rest of the time he's on screen. I don't know. I feel like that's how they're going to run this. Technically, it wouldn't make sense because he's horribly disfigured. Right, So that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying is, is Robert Downey Jr. going to be the guy that's like, oh yeah, cool, I'll just be behind the mask. And then also, you know they're going to voice modulate him probably, right? Which is fine. Uh, maybe. I mean, if it's going to work, they're going to put prosthetics on his ass and make him a whole different person. If he's that good of an actor to be a whole different person, which he probably is. But I'm not doubting that. Okay, but I mean, yeah, yeah. we do have a good historical example in Tropic Thunder. That, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's probably Exhibit A right I there. I mean, he became a black guy. Yeah. I mean, I will give him that. He became a, like, southern 60s fucking black guy. And I, it was believable. He, he was, as he says in the movie, he's disguised as a dude who's playing a dude who's playing another dude. Like, yeah. that, it, he was playing an Australian actor turning into a black dude. And man, it, it nailed it. Fucking killed it. So I think he's, he could do it, but I don't know. I don't want it. I'd rather have it just be somebody else. Yeah, dude, fucking get that ugly motherfucker from Stranger Things. He's ugly enough to be fucking Dr. Doom. Like, oh, he's already kid? disfigured enough. <laughs> you talking about the kid with the nose? No, the, fucking, about? the guy that's the cop. Oh, yeah, he could do it. I mean, he was Hellboy. Uh, I forget his name. <clears throat> he, he seems like a Victor Von Doom. Now, why don't you just get Ron Perlman to do it? <laughs> <laughs> He's ugly enough. He already looks fucking ugly as shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But to me, like, you get him fucked up, you, you know, get the prosthetics and everything. The only question is, can he do a Latvian accent, which probably sounds like Slavic, some type of Slavic language? Um, I think he could do it. But, uh... Yeah, David Harbour's the guy who was David the newest, Harbour, okay. the newest Hellboy. But see, that, that could be doable because... <laughs> Like, Hellboy, like, with all the shit that he has on, you don't even know it's him. You don't even know it's that guy under there. Yeah. You wouldn't know it. it's it's him wearing the fucking Doctor Doom mask. Yeah. So. But, uh, I'm also concerned with the fact that it's, it's, these movies are going to be happening back to back. The Avenger movies, which is Avengers Doomsday, and then it's Avengers 
uh, Secret Wars, which is kind of like a big story. Mm. They're doing them back to back. They're doing them in 25 and 26, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or 26 and 27. So there, it's it's a quick turnaround for each movie. So am I am I inclined to believe that Doctor Doom is only going to be around for two Avengers movies? Because that shit would kind of suck. Because he's kind of a big deal. He's not one of the baddies that goes away after so many issues. He's somebody that sticks around as a fucking pest to everybody. Yeah, he's a staple villain, essentially. Yeah, and Secret Wars is a big-ass story. It's him becoming an omnipotent god, and he rules the universe or the entire world, and I don't know. I don't know. I thought they... I. The thing I thought they were going to do was they were going to have him revealed maybe at the end of a Fantastic Four movie with this new movie that's going to be launched. Hmm. Yeah. Ha- have him teased in there, and then we slowly get to get pieces of him, like pretty much like uh, Thanos. Yeah. Something like that. But we're getting him for two movies, and I'm like, he's, he's not going to be around. I also think it was AIDS to announce this. Why? Because I'd rather have you tease me and then after, like, the, the year that the movie comes out, that Comic-Con, have Robert Downey Jr. come out and be like, oh, yes, it was me all along. It was me, Austin. Yeah, it was me, Austin. That would be fucking cool. And then just have no one know that it's him. That okay. would have been sweet. Why do you think they did it? So people would be interested in the fuck. So the normies would be interested in the movie. Why do you think Comic-Con is, a, is, is as big as it is now? Because all the fucking normies got involved. Yeah, that's why we can't afford to go anymore. That's why we can't fucking afford to get tickets. You can't get tickets. You got to get into a goddamn lottery. It's like trying to win the lottery to go to Comic-Con now. Didn't used to be like that. But now you got to enter a lottery and it's all because of the fucking normies. And you know where it started? Where it all went wrong? Funko Pops. That's what really fucking did it, I think. That's my that's my opinion. You just want to go on a tirade about Funko Pops. Yeah, uh, I, I think Funko Pops are the reason why this happened. And... It got normies involved, and now all the normies want to be in everything. They want to be in Star Wars. They want to be in fucking comic books. They want to be in all the all the all the stuff that for years had been considered nerd fringe shit. Now you want to co-opt it and make it your own thing, and then make it inaccessible to those of us who have been fans, and make it turn into something that's almost unrecognizable. So now, like I said, I th- that's why they did it because they want to they want to get because. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is is dying a slow death. It is. There's too many movies. Yep. The continuity is too fucking long. It's already convoluted. Secret Wars would be the reboot, which makes me think that they're going to do some bullshit about maybe starting an ultimate ultimate universe so we can get a different flavor so it's not the same thing. But Well, they're going to have to because they're going to because Captain America is going to be what's his name? Anthony Mackie or whatever. So that'll be like some It'll be some alternate fucking universe where they'll make it where he was the guy from the beginning or some shit, like from World War II. And which, I mean, whatever. That's, I, I don't care. It, but I don't want to see fucking Robert Downey Jr. As, as, as another fucking asshole in this. And then also, who are you going to get to play fucking Iron Man? Because you know Iron Man's going to have to be in it somehow. <sighs> this is an they, Avengers. They, they got to start over again with yeah, somebody else. So then you're going to tell me that the guy who used to be Iron Man is going to be in the Avengers movie. Now is the bad guy fighting Iron Man. I already know what's going to happen. I'm mar- mark it fucking <laughs> All right, down. Marking it now. Oh, no. I mean, well, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm figuratively I marking it. Yeah, yes. figuratively marking it down. So there's this character named <clears throat> Riri Williams. Her name's Rihanna Williams, I okay. think. Uh, she's... Her name's... She was dubbed as Iron Man oh. at one point because she was this kid that was able to engineer her own Yeah, Iron yeah, I think I, I think I saw but, something. But then that. eventually her name was changed to Iron Heart because... Uh, when they started this whole new era of Marvel, they started younger with different characters. Like uh, Nova was a, like a 16-year-old kid and Miles Morales, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But in Secret Wars, there's this problem that occurs within the Marvel Universe that all the universes are converging at one point. It's like an incursion that's happening. Mm-hmm. And uh, eventually the, it just kind of creates like singularity, right? And then Doctor Doom and Molecule Man and Doctor Strange have to do some bullshit to when the world is saved from this incursion, it's like a fucked version of itself. Mm. Like it's it's like Doctor Doom 
playing God, basically. Mm. So I think what we're going to get is like alternate versions of characters. And I think Iron Man is possibly going to be this little girl named Riri. She'll be Iron Heart. She'll be Iron Heart or she'll be Iron Man or whatever the fuck. Iron Woman. I, I don't know. <laughs> but but, but e- the, either way. But it already, it doesn't work though, dude, because... I mean, sure, yes, there's alternate universes with, like, the what they're, whatever they're doing with Loki and all that shit. But why, why start? Why fucking start with an alternate version of Doctor Doom and have Tony Stark play, like, universe 69 whatever for two movies and then have him fuck off? Like, just, just for the clout of having him back, like, having the clout of Robert Downey Jr. to bring his ass back... Uh, for him just to sell two more movies? Like, why the fuck? Why not make it long-term and make the character fucking awesome and have somebody play to the character as, as opposed to having, you know, fucking Robert Downey Jr. carry, dude? Yeah. that's It's a, it's like kind of a spit in the face to the character, dude. Yeah, I think it is. I don't like it. I think it's bad. I think it's going to be bad for the business. Yeah. Uh, I... I <sighs> They're just fucking up because the only thing they're looking at is they need to make their money back. Yes. yes. With what they fucking paid for Star Wars, what they paid for Marvel. Shit, man, maybe they make their money on Fortnite because they bought that too. I mean, shit, that's, yeah. That's the next thing, dude. It's like, I mean, the micro transactions uh, on fucking Fortnite. You know kids are paying for that shit. Yeah, and everything's branded Disney, fucking Marvel. They got all that shit. So, yeah, maybe that's how they're going to make their money back. But that's the thing is they, they still... They know that, and this is the thing that pisses me off, is comic book movies never really got a chance back in the day. Nobody ever really gave a shit about them. You got your Batmans, you had your Supermans, but that was kind of it. You were, you were getting maybe a couple of fringe characters here and there, but... Daredevil, Blade. Yeah, Daredevil, Blade, Punisher, the, the original Punisher with Thomas Crow. Jane. Yeah, The Crow. But that's nowhere near the number of movies they made in the last 10 fucking years with this MCU. They made, what, 15 or 20 fucking movies yeah, but in 10 cares? years? Yeah, who cares about any of them? That's what I'm saying. So once once mainstream Hollywood got their claws into it and was like, oh shit, this can make us money. Now, oh shit, now it gets diluted. Now they're going to beat the dead fucking horse until it is just bone. That's all they're going to do. And this is, this is just a prime example of that. Possible another... Proclamation. All right. I'm not sure how this one will play out, but I'm going to say it anyways. <laughs> Based on your theory about Marvel sucking the bone dry, right? Yeah. There will be a point when this will become so saturated and so diluted that nobody will care about comic book movies for a hot minute. So, oh yeah, there might be a potential they'll sell the assets and have it just split up again. And then maybe they they rein it in to get it in like another fifty years. They'll wait. They'll wait twenty years and then they'll buy everything again and then be like, okay, cool, it's recycled itself. Let's do it again now. Yeah, I, I think maybe that's a possibility because they will beat this horse to death. Oh, a hundred percent. And I think there will be a point in which there will be diminishing returns for it. It's possible, but then you think about these characters as well. Like if if I were to take the other stance. Superman and Batman are staples. I mean, and pretty much at this point, I mean, I don't know about Iron Man. Iron Man doesn't have the same staying power as Batman or Superman. But if I were to say, like, Marvel characters that stick out, X-Men, Spider-Man, I guess maybe Venom at this point. Uh, But point being, those characters are like icons, and I don't see how possibly they can't let them go. But if they keep going at this pace, dude, they're going to fuck themselves too, I think. Yeah, they all are. I mean, I'm still sad that we never really got a good run at Green Lantern. Uh, because, I mean, that Blackest Night book for DC for DC yeah. is it's one of my favorite fucking books, man. Like, it's I love it because it's like... And again, I love that Green Lantern, the lore and the universe of each fucking ring behind it. Like each ring's a different fucking kind of emotion or feeling or whatever. Like yeah. that's so fucking cool, man. Like, and I'm just sad we're probably never gonna get a word. Well, maybe we will. Maybe they will milk that fucking part of the thing dry and they'll give us some shitty movie about it. But I don't think it will. I think we'll just be satisfied with maybe like an animated movie or some bullshit. But it's like fuck, man. There's so many ways to do this. 
and this is pretty much the wrong, this is all the way the wrong way to do it, I feel like. Yeah, I feel, uh, I mean, it's the same, same old shit, same old yep. shit. Um, for Hollywood to constantly throw celebrities at us to bank on the fact that uh, they can't have this movie lose money. So you, what do you do? You go back to the well of what worked and... Hey, just I put Robert Downey Jr. in there. Put Robert Downey Jr. back in there to be Victor Von Doom. And then let's call, because this is going to be Avengers, so we're going to call all the hits. We're going to call fucking Thor. We're going to call fuck. Shit, we could even call Natalie Portman, have her fucking be. We could have her and fucking what's his name. Be. Double Thor it up. She can be the, what is it? The Amazing Thor or whatever fuck she's called. Some other kind of fucking she's Thor. Thor. But is, is it, there's like a name that, there's like another word that they threw in there for her. I don't know, but either way. She yeah. was Valkyrie. I don't know if she was. Because she, she ascended to be like an immortal, basically, and then she was called Valkyrie, but she was Thor for a time. Yeah. So they'll, they'll, bring, those, they'll bring them assholes back. They'll fucking figure out how to bring back the old, all the old fucking crew of the Avengers, and then they'll throw in the Guardians of the Galaxy while we're at it because that, that movie fucking sold, sold a bunch of money, and they'll put them all back together again. Hey, guys. <laughs> at the end of the last Avengers movie, all right, we're shutting the studio down. And then now they're like, all right, guys, we're getting the band back together. <laughs> like, fucking- Fuck, man. I mean, <clears throat> the travesty of that guy, Jonathan Majors, and his whole situation of uh, domestic violence, or ah. whatever, whatever the fuck happened. Yeah. So there was Kang Dynasty that they were building towards. I mean, I don't know if anybody would believe that because I think a lot of people felt the movie was kind of... A lot of these past movies have been dog shit, including the Ant-Man and... The Wasp, the wasp those, yeah. Quantumania, whatever bullshit. Quantumania. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, to see that scrapped, because that was like kind of the the layout for the next four or five years. And King Dynasty, gone. Fucking yeah, scrapped. Deleted. Only for us to get Robert Downey Jr. as Victor Von Doom, which is... Uh, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. I'm, I already don't care. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, listen, we're going to have to see it just to fucking talk about it. But um, so this is the roadmap for the Marvel Universe, just what's coming up. I mean, we do have Craven the Hunter coming out in December. That's Fox or that's uh, mm-hmm. or uh, wait, because or not Fox, uh, Sony, right? That's Sony. Yeah. But I mean, that that fucking looks great. I don't know. Man. The trailers make that. That movie looks fucking awesome. I don't think it's gonna be. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be tied into whatever. I don't think so either. But that's that's what a Marvel about. related movie. Yeah, and then you got some Wakanda movie coming out in 2024 or sometime. 20, well, it's probably not even gonna come out. Uh, and then you got Spider. Oh, that's an animated thing. Okay, Captain America: Brave New Worlds coming out February 2025, which is gonna be. Uh, let's see, Anthony Mackie or whatever. Obviously, is Captain America. Uh, it says this is. Going to be one of the biggest movies in the lead up to the epoch ending Avengers: The Kang Dynasty and Avengers: Secret Wars. That's that's not happening. So anymore. Uh, yeah, well this this article was written fucking like today. It's not happening. All right, well fuck them. This article. It's Doomsday then. and uh, it's Doomsday. And Secret Wars. And Secret Wars. King Dynasty is done. Dead. They built all that shit up. Oh, they're, they're making another Daredevil movie, Daredevil: Born Again. That's coming out in March. Okay, that's an actual storyline though. Within I think. Uh, in the comics, if I'm not mistaken, mm, okay. I'm not well versed in Daredevil, so don't put don't uh, put too much heart on my words. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like they're doing uh, another Fantastic Four nonsense. And then Blade, oh, they're gonna reboot Blade. Yeah, shit, why not? Yeah, okay. And then Ironheart, which is re re. So she is gonna. That's the oh, guaranteed. I didn't even see that. It's right okay. here, 2025. Ironheart. So Iron there, Heart, we'll there you go. There's yep. your fucking. That's it. There's You're your Iron Man right there. You called it. You yeah. called it without even knowing. Yeah. You were right. So, yeah, she's gonna be fucking Iron Heart, Riri Williams. And yeah. Then, there, there's your your next Iron Man, and of course, <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see if uh, uh, whatever. Fuck it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It says uh, Avengers Doomsday is May 2026. Uh, nobody knows what the fuck that's gonna be, but it's gonna. Oh, wait a minute. This is going to be the beginning of the Doctor Doom stuff, is what they're saying. Doomsday. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So that was why they had to fucking announce this, because they canceled the whole King the Conqueror movie. Yeah. So now they had to fucking replace it with something else. Yeah. 
Um, and then Secret Wars is going to be in 2027. But they still have to introduce, like, the X-Men and all that shit in two years, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. And then we still got X-Men 97 Season 2. Marvel Zombies? Oh, it's like a what-if thing. Yeah, that's fucking... I don't know. AIDS. AIDS. This is going to be AIDS. I don't know. This is going to be terrible. <sighs> well, I guess we'll find out and see what happens. So, anyways... You got anything else? Wait, what time is it? 30 minutes and 24 seconds. Get me out of here. Fuck Hell this place. yeah, brother. Anyways, uh, let us know what you think about the uh, AIDS that is the Marvel Universe at this point. Uh, don't care for Robert Downey Jr. as uh, Victor Von Doom. Should have been passed <laughs> off to somebody. Dude, I got it. It's not, it's not AIDS. It's called MIDS. Marvel Immunodeficiency <laughs> Syndrome. <laughs> and it's also MIDS. So I think it's MIDS. <laughs> <laughs> mids. You got mids. I gotta fucking make a meme. All right. Genius. AIDS. AIDS and a half. Anyways, all right. Well, that'll do it for us. Thanks for listening. Let us know if you, you guys like this uh, not comic book review version of an episode. Maybe we'll do a couple more of these more often when things happen. But, <clears throat> anyways, go to gameragemagazine.com to hear all our podcasts. You can go to Game Rage Magazine on Instagram and TikTok. Oh, one important thing I forgot to know is that the Russo brothers are also returning for Avengers movies, so another going back to, to the, the well. well. Yeah, going back to the well. So we'll see if that plays out in favor of them. If not, then at this point, I don't even give a shit because I don't even watch Marvel movies. I'm just upset of the fact that they you are just recycling people yeah. instead of giving somebody else a chance imagine if Star Wars was the exact same thing if we continued to well actually they did do that they brought <laughs> they brought back Mark Hamill and pretty much everybody yeah so we could rehash the same shit same, same old uh, shit same old shit <laughs> anyways go to GameRageMagazine.com at GameRageMagazine on Instagram and TikTok at GameRageMag Twitter slash X All Gas No Trash official if you want to follow Adam and also go check out the All Gas No Trash podcast it's all about music and it's good so anyways that'll do it for us we'll catch you on the next one That was Panel to Panel, the Game Rage Magazine comic book podcast. Thanks for listening. If you want to know more and follow along, go to Instagram and TikTok. Follow at Game Rage Magazine. If you want to follow on Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag. Tune in next time. Yeah.